Although it's rather hard to believe, the fire exhaust is more than willing to undergo a downdraft. As long as the chimney is tall enough and certain allowances have been made, it is surprising what can be achieved. The heater is constructed from the inside out, forming encased layers with different heat intensities. The separate layers are a necessary part of the heater's design to accommodate for thermal expansion. And thermal expansion joints are incorporated between the heater's layers. So that between layers there is no contact between brickwork. You could think of the heater as a Russian doll with separate layers that exist within each other. The inner core, which houses the firebox in the oven, is the first layer. The second layer is the smoke shafts, which redirect hot exhaust gases coming out of the oven. And the last layer is the outer shell, which encases all other layers and makes up the thermal mass of the heater. You could think of the heater as a giant heat battery using thermal mass to retain heat. This can be compared with a conventional wood stove. To control temperature, a wood stove must be constantly operated in bursts or made to smolder by starving the fire of oxygen. Smoldering is not only an inefficient way of obtaining heat from a fire, but also causes a lot of smoke and harmful particulate matter which you don't want. The masonry heater differs as it is slow to heat up and puts out a very gentle radiant heat. Masonry heaters are lit in short bursts and burn at remarkably high temperatures, with a refractory inner core that promotes complete combustion. A masonry heater makes sure the full potential energy of wood is released. The hot exhaust gases of a masonry heater are redirected internally and heaters retained within the thermal mass of the bricks. A masonry heater extracts and stores as much heat as possible from a burn. While the masonry heater is charging, heat from the fire is gradually radiated to the outer layers. After one or two short bursts, the masonry heater's core has reached full temperature, the fire goes out. Although there are modern wood stoves that burn cleaner and more efficiently than older models, by nature, any wood stove produces a harsh and uneven boom or bust heat. Whereas, you simply cannot beat the steady and gentle radiating ambient heat of a masonry heater. Not only is a masonry heater clean burning, but it is more efficient compared to most wood fuel devices. You get more heat from your firewood with a masonry heater, as well as a better distribution of heat within a living space. This has been a short introduction to masonry heaters in New Zealand. The New Zealand Masonry Heater Association would like to thank you for taking the time to learn about masonry heaters. We hope that this short informative video on the subject has aided your understanding. For any further information on the Sustainable Habitat Building Project, masonry heaters, on joining the Masonry Heater Association of New Zealand, or anything featured in this video, please contact us by emailing the indicated address. Thank you. Hadn't been forgotten, I Joe. Had been married a long time ago. Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Hadn't been forgotten, I Joe.